Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it is a more informative video. It's not a tutorial or anything like that. Um, as you can see from the title, I am going to give you some tips, show you some products that I've collected. Today, I'm gonna show y'all some products that you can get to start building your makeup freelance kit on a budget. You know, I've been, I haven't been freelancing for that long. It's only been probably about two, maybe two and a half years. Um, and even though that's not a long time, I do, I do feel like I've tried out a lot of products. I know which ones work, which ones don't. And I know more expensive products and more affordable products. If you want to get an idea of how to start your freelance kit um, on a budget, then go ahead and just keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, we're gonna start with the base. We're gonna go in order of how I like to do makeup, you know, base, brows, eye makeup, etc. Okay, so for the base, the first thing is free. Now, personally for myself, I don't include skincare in my session whenever I'm doing people's makeup. You know, I just think if you know if it's your wedding day, your quinceanera day, the day of any party that you're needing to get your makeup done, I would personally think you would do your own skincare at home, you know what I mean? You would know to have your mustache waxed or to have your skin exfoliated and moisturized, which I do always advise my clients to make sure their face is clean, exfoliated and moisturized bef the day before the event so that I can have as smooth as of a base as possible to work with. Um, but first things first, I always add some sort of moisturizer to my client's face, no matter if it's oily, if it's dry, combo, normal, I always like to add moisturizer, and I preferably use moisturizer with an SPF. The one that I use is, they, is the Bliss Triple Oxygen, Bliss Triple Oxygen Ultimate Protection UV Moisturizer. Usually I like to add something with a little bit of an SPF underneath the foundation because for foundation we will get to that in a second but for foundation you don't want to have any SPF in it whatsoever so I um, even you do still want to add some sort of sun protection because sometimes weddings can take places outside so um, always start off with a good moisturizer even if your client has oily skin it doesn't matter if you have oily skin you still need to moisturize your face so then moving on to primers for oily skin I do think it's important to use an oil controlling primer. So the primer that I have really been liking or that I recently tried out and I really like is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Primer. So as you can see, this is the travel size. It is the small one because this is $15 and the full size is like 40 bucks. And again, this is for on a budget. But the good thing about this primer is you do not need to use a lot. Do not use a lot of product whenever you use this primer. It'll ball up. You just need just the slightest bit in the targeted areas, which is usually around here, the nose, the chin, you know, bridge of the nose, forehead. That's where you wanna target this primer. Now, um, here comes the first tip for today when it comes to uh, being able to build your kit on a budget. So, say for example, you your personal favorite foundation is from MAC. Well, whenever you order online from MAC, you usually get one or two free samples. I always get the mini strobe creams whenever I make orders online. Um, these, they're only 0.20 fluid ounces, but again, just like the Becca primer, you don't need a lot, and these are free. And, I, and they're also good for traveling. If you're a traveling makeup artist, these are good to carry in your kit because they're so tiny. They don't take up a lot of space. This one is a good primer for people that have more dry or normal skin and it adds a nice glow underneath the foundation. Now next for foundation, there are a million foundations on the market right now. It's hard to find a foundation at the drugstore at a reasonable price that does not have SPF and will not give your client flashback because that is the number one thing the number one thing you don't want for your client is flashback. And it's you can change it up depending on the occasion. If it's for a wedding, no SPF. You cannot have any SPF whatsoever. You cannot have any flashback. You cannot ruin all of their pictures and videos for that night. You don't want to be that person 
that they think of, wow, I should have gone to someone else because they gave me hella flashback. You don't want to be that person. Um, but if it's, say, for example, they're getting family pictures done midday or it's like a baby shower in the middle of the day, then it's okay to use a little bit more SPF because even if there is flash photography, it'll most likely be in daylight. So it won't, the white cast won't jump at you. You know what I mean? So for drugstore foundation, my recent favorites have been the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. And the good thing about these is that when you buy them at Ulta, one, you can rack up points. And two, their NYX is always buy one, get one 50% off. And my next foundation that is a little bit cheaper because the NYX foundations are usually about $15. This next one is about $10. And I personally think it works really good. It is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Um, this foundation, it's, it's good, but it's not for oily skin. The NYX Total Drop Foundation is very matte and long lasting. And this one is not for dry skin. This one is very good for normal to dry skin. I feel like it's very long lasting. I wear it myself and I really like it. And with this one, let me show you. You can tell this one is one of my favorites because I have six shades. So a tip for foundations is you probably think, how am I gonna have a foundation color for everybody? Do I have to buy the entire line of 30 shades? No, you do not. What I like to do is I'll get a medium shade around the deep shade and I haven't picked up the lightest one because I just got these not too long ago, but I'll get at least at least four shades from a line. That way I can mix and match according to the person's skin tone. Now for the last foundation, which I've only used a couple of times and I do plan on ordering more when I remember to, but it is the BH Cosmetics Liquid the BH Cosmetics Naturally Flawless Foundation. This foundation is beautiful. Beautiful. I don't see anywhere on the bottle that it has SPF or anywhere in the ingredients, and I have yet to test it in flash lighting because I only have one shade. I bought this shade specifically for one of my clients that I did a, like a test run, not a test run, but I did like a, kind of like a shoot so that I could get, I like to do photo shoots randomly I'm not a photographer, but I just like to do it so I can practice technique and stuff on other people. Um, but I am going to get more of this because it has nice coverage and I feel like it is more of a satin finish. It's not dewy. It's not matte. It's just somewhere in between. Okay, so next for complexion products is concealers. Now, concealers is something that I don't feel like you have to splurge a lot on. Like even for myself personally, aside from my kit, I am I will not I will not spend 30 20 15 dollars on a concealer because I really don't think it's necessary because I think we have a lot of amazing options at the drugstore one of my original OG favorites for a concealer is the Maybelline fit me concealer this concealer has a medium coverage it is not full coverage it is a medium coverage and it has if you let it dry down it will dry matte but it's not drying if you know what I mean. Um, and recently they have released, they have extended their shades, which is amazing because the shades that they had weren't cutting it. So they released deeper shades, which I do have two of the deeper shades. I have uh, 45 and 60. Um, these are about $5 each. And I think these are amazing to have in your kit because it's a, it's a very versatile concealer. And I even like to use that as an eye primer. Um, next concealer that I really enjoy is the NYX HD concealer. This concealer is more full coverage and a little bit more drying than the Maybelline, than, than the Maybelline Fit Me, but I believe they have a larger shade range. You do get half the product in this one than you do in the Fit Me. This one has 0.23 fluid ounces and this one has 0.11 fluid ounces. But again, it's more full coverage so you don't necessarily need to use as much. The last concealer that is actually a recent find of mine is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. These became very popular um, a few weeks ago whenever that whole Tarte Shape Tape thing was going on. I decided to buy some to try them out for myself and on my clients and I really, really enjoy them. This concealer is perfect for people with oily skin. Oh, and this one is about six. All the concealers that I've been talking about are anywhere from four to six dollars depending on where you buy them. Um, 
uh, you can get this concealer at Ulta. It has, it's, it has about the same coverage as the NYX HD concealer, and I'm sure if you layered it, you could get a full coverage out of this concealer. The shade range is amazing. They have like 18 shades, and I think that they're expanding their shades as well. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this concealer. Now, next for powder. Um, powder is something you have to splurge just a little bit on. So my favorite powder of all time to use on clients is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This one also comes in a deeper shade, which I am going to invest in. And, and let, me, let, me, let me just pause for a moment and say this. You want to make sure you always have the product to cater to everyone. And I know it's hard sometimes because maybe you don't have experience working with darker people of color maybe you don't have enough experience working with darker people of color or black people because it is very different to work on deeper skin tones than it is to light and medium you can become very accustomed to only working with what you know which is whatever your color is and vice versa but you always want to make sure that everyone and anyone can book with you so it's always, it's just, I can't stress to you enough how important it is to have the complexion products to work for everyone and not just people of your own skin range. Um, but anyways, so the Laura Mercier powder is really good, really, really, really good for controlling oil. Um, and even people, I think if you use it lightly with people that have dry skin, it works beautifully as well. And these come in many travel sizes as well. And this powder, excuse me, this powder lasts a pretty long time. Okay, so the next powder, which is more affordable, is the RCMA No Color Powder. I really do think that this powder works beautifully for dry and normal skin. I do not recommend this powder for oily skin. It is not going to hold up. It will not work for you. Uh, believe me. Just, just believe me. But the good thing, even though this is white, it is completely translucent and it does not leave flashback. Overall, this would be the better powder to invest in. It's it's only $12 for three ounces, so that's a really good deal, and you can use it with any skin tone. Okay, and now moving on to the next products is contour slash bronzing products. The Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kits are definitely the way to go for a makeup artist kit. Um, I actually received this powder one that I'm showing you. I received it as a gift for Christmas from one of my friends. And whenever I'm a little bit tanner, I do like to use it. Or I like to use um, this shade to brighten under my eyes. But I also like to use this on clients that are darker than me. This is the medium to tan and this is one of the best contour kits. And the good thing, the amazing thing about this is you don't have to pay full price for this. You can pay full price for these at Sephora and Ulta, but you can also get them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls for half the price, for $18.99. Um, I also like the cream contour kit, and this one is the deep, this is the deep contour kit. I also really like that. Um, powder and contour, powder contour and cream contour it's really preference so you don't necessarily need one or the other you can even if you like cream better then you can use foundations to cream contour and have your foundations be multi-purpose another thing that i've been loving a lot is the bh cosmetics and it's my ray ray palette this palette is 22 dollars and it comes with three contour shades one for light skin one for medium skin and one for deep skin i cannot find anywhere a contour powder Th of this richness of this deep of a color anywhere else believe me i have tried looking but whenever it comes to powder i can't find anything this deep or deeper honestly this color right here is the only reason i bought this entire palette because i have nothing like it but this also is an eyeshadow palette so i also believe this is a very good investment because of the variety of shades that you get in the contour side of the palette. The next products which are probably the most popular I feel is highlight. You can buy highlights at the drugstore. You can buy the e.l.f. baked highlights for two dollars but I don't know. I feel like a good good investment is even if you just buy one is an Anastasia glow kit. These this is the sun dipped glow kit and it comes with four shades 
It comes with a light shade, two light shades, a medium shade, and a deep shade. These pans are really big. Look at this. Each pan comes with 7.4 grams of product. And I think these were the smartest thing that ABH ever did to cater to makeup artists. It is $40 for four entire highlights. They're not small. They're not sample size. They're decently large highlights for $40. So essentially you're paying $10 for each one. Now, one thing I would like to add in, um, since we're talking more about powders to go on the face, is you always want to have a bottle of spray alcohol. So after every time you use a palette, you want to spray the powders and, leave, and let them dry so that you can make sure that it's sanitized for the next person because cross-contamination cross is not a good thing. So for highlights, this is definitely what I recommend. And I actually got this highlighting palette for $20. I got it half off on sale at Sephora. If you want to build your makeup kit on a budget, always be on the lookout for sales, for coupons, anything to help that can help you grow as an artist, but at the same time, save your coins. You know what I mean? If you don't have to pay full price for something, then don't. For blush, my absolutely most favorite palette, or, well, I gave that away. My most favorite blushes to use are the e.l.f. blush palettes. This is the e.l.f. blush palette in dark, and this is the e.l.f. blush palette in light. Now, on camera, they look really similar, but they're not. Um, I use these all the time and they are only six, whoops, they're only six dollars each. They're not super pigmented, which personally I don't like a blush to be super pig pigmented because I like to build it up. So these are just the most beautiful blushes you will ever use. Now uh, setting spray, you can get a lot of setting sprays. I'm pretty sure every brand has a setting spray now. My, my favorite ones that are more affordable are the Flower Beauty seal the deal setting sprays they actually have two which is amazing they have the hydrating setting spray and the um long lasting setting spray so obviously hydrating is for people with dry skin long lasting is for people because it's a, this one is a matte finish and it's for people with oily skin the matte finish one is very matte anyways the matte setting spray is not necessarily drying but it is matte so this the matte one is amazing for oily skin and also what I love about these is the mist. It's so hard to find a setting spray with a good mist, with a good sprayer. I don't know why, but if you see, maybe you can, maybe you can see it, I don't know. See how it's a very... It is a very fine spray and it's just so light and it feels so refreshing. And it's, it's not too heavily fragranced. It actually, it smells nice. So those two setting sprays are thebomb.com. Something that is also kind of difficult to find a good dupe for are beauty blenders. Beauty blenders, that is my favorite way to blend out under eye concealer, foundation, liquid blush, whatever, any cream product, my favorite way to blend it out is with the beauty blender. Now, I know. Beauty blenders are $20 a piece and that is very expensive but on camera ready cosmetics website you can buy a 10 pack of beauty blenders for $125 this is if you're willing to spend a little bit more and you really want to buy the beauty blender do not buy 10 beauty blenders at $20 a piece do not spend $200 on beauty blenders even though 125 is still up in price if you were to buy 10 beauty blenders at their full price, you would be spending $200. But on Camera Ready Cosmetics, they have a 10 pack for $125, which saves you about $75. So if you're wanting to spend money on the actual original beauty blender, then there's that option for you. And if you are not trying to spend $125 on 10 beauty blenders, the next option or the next best option I have for you are these sponges from Beauty Junkies. Now these, don't get it twisted, okay? I didn't always use actual original beauty blenders because um i was broke girl i'm still broke which is why i purchased these again these can come in a four pack before you were able to buy them off of amazon but now they don't sell the four pieces on amazon so you have to get that directly off their website but shipping is only four dollars so these are not expensive these are these sponges are 
latex free non-allergenic and whenever you wash them the color doesn't bleed they also have the black version but i don't like the black ones the pink the pink ones are the best these are a little bit rounder at the base and they do feel stiff when they're dry but when you wet them they expand nicely and they're so soft this sponge is just as good as the beauty blender and let me tell you it is way better than the real techniques sponge and for a four pack of beauty junkies blending sponges it is $14.97 i believe so let's put it at 15 bucks for four sponges plus four dollars shipping you're spending less than twenty dollars on four sponges compared to spending $20 on one sponge. You see what I mean? And honestly, in the end, everything ends up looking the same. If I were to do one client with a beauty blender and one client with a makeup junkie sponge, you could not tell me the difference. Do you see, do you see what I'm getting at? You don't have to spend the most money on your makeup kit in order to get the best results. Now next for brushes, I don't physically have any like product to show you, but I do recommend BH Cosmetics Brush Set. <laughs> BH Cosmetics Brush Sets. They recently uh, made a Studio Pro collection, which is still affordable, and the brushes are a little bit better than their other brush sets. But if you go onto their website, which I will have everything linked down below, if you go onto their website, you'll see many sets of brushes from which you could choose from. Now for eye blending brushes, my favorite ones to use are Morphe brushes. Morphe M441, Morphe M443. Those two brushes are absolutely my most favorite blending brushes. And in everything from flat shader brushes to the small pencil brushes, you can all find those in the sets. And I don't think any of those brush sets, I don't believe that any of those brush sets from BH are ever more than $20. So those are definitely the brushes to go and buy. Next for brows, I have been loving this Tanya, let's see, it's called The Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. It's a convertible brow palette, and this one is in the shade 02. It has three shades. It has a dark shade, a taupe shade, and a warm shade. The warm shade I never use, but these two I use interchangeably. Even when you have someone that has very dark, almost black hair, this deep shade this brown shade is perfect because it has a cool undertone. It doesn't come off red or orange or anything like that. I got it in my boxy charm actually. I think it retails for $30, but if you go on Depop or any of those sites where you can buy makeup, people sell them for like $4 a piece. All right, and now we're moving on to lips. So for lips, I love, love the Anastasia lip, whoops. The Anastasia Lip Palette. When this first came out last year, it was a no-brainer. I knew in my heart that I needed this. When it's a wedding or a special occasion, I either buy a mini lipstick or the full tube lipstick and I give it to them so that they can touch up throughout the day. But if it's for like photo shoots and all that stuff, I use this lip palette. Now, full price, this palette is $48 plus taxes, which of course, that's what I paid last year when it came out. But, I say, this, I say this now and I will always say this. If you don't have to pay full price for anything, then don't. Always, always be on the lookout for steals, sales, coupons, anything to save you some money. If your client is looking for a glossy lip, I will 1000% always recommend to you the NYX Butter Glosses. Not only are these lip glosses only $4.99 each, not only can you get them at Ulta for buy one get one 50% off, not only can you always find them at CVS and Walgreens in the clearance section, but they smell good. They are not too sticky. They are not too, too full coverage. They are extremely glossy and they're just the best lip glosses I've ever used in my entire life. And I've used a lot of gloss. I love gloss. I have these four specifically for my kit um, because just like with complexion products, you want to have a nude for everybody. So the lightest nude I have is Fortune Cookie. 
The next one up is Creme Brulee. The next one after that is Madeline, which if you follow me on Instagram, you know I stay wearing this lip gloss all the time. It's my favorite nude lip gloss. It's perfect for my skin tone. Anyways, Madeline. The next nude shade I have is Ginger Snap, which is a deeper nude. So, round of applause. Round of applause for Daniela for all that talking. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions over anything, do not be afraid to message me on Instagram or Twitter or leave a comment. Leave any questions down below. And if you thought this video was useful, give me a go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. It, uh, I'm just saying it probably wouldn't hurt you. Um, doing that is free. <laughs> I hope you keep coming back for more because maybe, just maybe, I might be more productive. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of the week and I'll see you in my next video.